everyone and welcome to my new segment Newsroom. What we're going to be doing is reviewing the top tech stories just for you. So let's get started with my top stories for this week. Motorola is going to clarify the ice cream sandwich update. Within the next few weeks, Motorola will deploy the Android 4.0 to the Droid Razor, the Droid Razor Max, and the Zoom 3G 4G LTE. These three models will see the ice cream sandwich update by the second quarter of this year. In the second half of the year, Motorola would like to issue the update to the Droid Bionic, the Droid 4, and the Zyboard tablet. So all good there, but what about the people who have the Droid X2 and the Droid X3? Considering that both of these handsets were launched this year, not really sure why Motorola has decided to leave them out of the update. For our next top story, we have Nokia fixes the purple screen bug in the Lumia 900. Nokia Lumia 900 smartphones have been rescued. At least that's what the company's Twitter account, Nokia Care, just tweeted about. Turns out that the correction is in order for the purple hue that turns up on the Nokia Lumia screens. They also tweeted that they've pinpointed the issue, the root cause of the issue, and promises a fix in the next overall software update. For those of you who don't know or for those of you who can't remember, the Nokia Lumia 900 showed a slight purple hue when the brightness level was set to low. Nokia acknowledged the problem last month on its Facebook account as well as on a UK discussion forum. The company has not yet said anything about a launch date for the fix, but it did promise it would tweet its subscribers once a software update is available. Unfortunately though, this is not the only problem for the Nokia Lumia 900. It did have a bug before which prevented it from establishing a data connection. At that time, Nokia did compensate its users, both past and present customers, by giving them a hundred dollar credit towards the purchase of a new Nokia Lumia. Okay, Nokia, we do believe in you and we hope that this problem gets resolved ASAP. That's it for the Nokia Lumia screen bug. For our next top story, we have Samsung Galaxy S2 now shipping with Android 4.0 ICS. So, if you're looking to buy a Samsung Galaxy S2, then I have great news for you. Samsung is shipping all new units of the Galaxy S2 with the upgraded Android 4.0 ICS. I'm sure that all consumers are happy that they are being spared the effort of upgrading. So if you want to get an ice cream sandwich pack Galaxy S2, make sure you only go for units that are imported April 2012 or later. But if you have an older version, don't fret my techie pet, the upgrade is available over the air. So all you really need is a Wi-Fi network and you can apply it. For our fourth and final story, we have the ICS update now available on the HTC Sensation 4G. On May 16th, T-Mobile announced the Android update for its HTC Sensation 4G. A few highlights from what the Android update includes. Face unlock, home screen folders, improved battery life, improved text input and spell checking, improved menu structure, Sense 3.6 UI, system bar enhancements to easily view recent apps, resizable widgets, lock screen actions including pull down notifications and adjust volume while device is locked, data usage controls. If you haven't already received the updates notification then you can download it manually on the HTC Sensations software updates about menu. Make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi network because the update is going to be rather large. A similar update for the HTC Amaze 4G has been announced by T-Mobile. This should be available in the coming weeks. Now, that update is believed to be similar if not identical to the updates found with the Sensation 4G. That's it for this edition of Tech Dolls Newsroom. Keep coming back and watching this space for future tech updates. This is Tech Dolls saying good night.